I'm so excited today. I would be upgrading from my present software version of 2024.8.9. A big jump. Let's start the installation. I first received a notification on my cell phone yesterday evening at around 6 p.m. The notification was that it had already started downloading. Surprisingly, it took about four hours for the download to complete. And I thought I would do the installation the following day, which is today, just so that I can capture the entire process on video. So as you can see on my phone, I've got the software update, which I've scheduled for installation Tuesday morning at 2 a.m. But I'd rather not do that. I'd rather do the installation right now live. I'm unable to start the software installation from the car's computer itself, from the on-screen display. So I'll do it from the cell phone. So here we go, software update. Install 2024.14.8 now. This update will take approximately 25 minutes. And that's what I'm going to do. Install now. And there starts the countdown, the two minute countdown on the screen, in which time I have the option to cancel the update. But I'm not going to do that because I have been waiting a long time for this particular version. And on the phone, it says preparing to update. So I'll keep my phone aside and just sit through the entire installation process. I'm prepared to wait 25 minutes. So now the installation has actually started and you, on the screen you can see the message software updating to 2024.14.8. Just when the installation started, I heard the doors lock and I'm not sure if the car will let me leave during the next 25 minutes. It says underneath the message, update starting, do not drive until complete. Should I try opening the door? I'm not so sure. I think I'll just sit through for another five to 10 minutes. That's good. It did allow me to open the door during the software update. Software version 2024.14.8 has finished installation in 25 minutes. Let's look at the features that just got added. 2024.14 visual updates, Spotify queue and playback speed, hands-free trunk, especially for iPhones at this point in time. An update for Android will come in the future. Speed camera chime, average speed zones, trip progress bar, better route available, wiper controls, security improvements, and other updates. The feature that I was really looking for were the visual updates, but I know that there is a high resolution 3D model which now fills the entire screen. And I was also looking forward to the hands-free trunk, but I have an Android phone, unfortunately, but I can wait. I think the better route available is also a pretty useful feature as also the wiper controls. That's the software release notes. And I hit the, the home button, pull down the software screen, the release notes. I do this. Yes, this is great. It's fantastic seeing the Model 3 Highland in ultra red fill up the screen. And you can see that the navigation has moved to the right pane. Let's turn this around, shall we? Oh, that's beautiful. It turns around just like it used to do. But let's see if this swings back to the original orientation after a few seconds. It does. That's what it used to do in the past as well. What happens if I turn on my left turn signal? Will it light up on the screen as well? 
it does let's turn it around and hit the brake lights well it expects me to enter my pin to drive but it did turn on the brake lights and let me turn on the right turn signal yes that turns on as well fantastic let me open my left door yes and you can see the indication on the top left which tells me which reminds me to close the door and it tells me press and hold brake to drive that's navigation over there which I can expand as needed, but otherwise the, the car is visible all the time. I've also read that the, the speed limit shows up in bigger font. Okay, so choose direction on touch screen. There's the, the speed limit, which shows blank at the moment because I'm in my garage. Slide up mm -hmm. to drive. And I don't want to see the navigation window at the moment. So again, well, it's a much larger 3D visualization in park assist mode. Oops, I see somebody standing behind my garage <laughs> that I can't see in real life. Do I know the person? <laughs> Back to park, to reverse, and there it shows me the rear of my garage. Nothing worth seeing there. Back to park. I'll take the car for a drive and then report if there are any other changes that I've noticed. Let's close the video with another look at the fantastic full screen image of the Tesla Model 3 Highland. That's really superb. Did it show the underside? No, it doesn't. Swing back. Great, I'm happy with the update. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more.